Are you the breadwinner in your immediate family? Yeah. What's that position like, to be the breadwinner? Um, it's hard, but it ain't hard. You feel me? It's a lot of needs. Uh, it's a lot of needs. Um, it's a million wants. Um, it's like 60% favors. You feel me? Um, it's a lot of spending. I mean, she like that. What are the pros and cons of being a breadwinner? What you mean? What are the advantages or disadvantages with that, if anything? Being the breadwinner of your immediate family. Like in which way? Positive and negatives. Um, the negatives, like, the negatives, like, if, okay, if somebody needs something from you type shit, um, I don't listen to people that be like, they gonna pay me back and shit. I don't even be looking for it. Like, nah. But if I know you're a breadwinner like me, I don't be tripping. Either you pay it back or not. I, I'm just showing love. That's just me. But sometimes I don't be looking for the money back because sometimes, you know, you might not get it back. It depends on who asking. So, I'm, I give you anything though. But I give it to you if you need it. I'm not giving it to you if you want it. Unless I want you to have it. Ever get tired of that position, being the breadwinner? Ever wish you could take a break from it? I ain't no wishing, because I, be, I do take a break from this shit. Like, no, nah, hell no. Nah. If it ain't making sense, I ain't giving you a dime. You ain't... How can okay if I'm giving you some money? How can you how can you double that yourself? Cause I'm not no Indian giver. I'm not finna say, oh bro, you gotta pay me back this much money. Woo woo woo. Nah, hell no. Nah. Okay, you ask me for this money. What you finna do to double that money? Cause if I'm finna give you a thousand, I hope you're not finna come back and ask me for nothing. You feel me? If I'm finna put you in a position to do something. You don't need to be asking me to do nothing. Cause if they come, that's the hustling mindset, you feel me? If you're a hustler, you're gonna keep going for yourself. If you ain't no hustler, you ain't meant to say a shit. Now, what's the reaction from people you've said no, respectfully? Uh, fallouts. Fallouts. Yeah, I had a lot of fallouts with people that I never. I ain't, I ain't give a fuck though. If I told you no and you feel and you, how you gonna get mad at me? Cause I said no for my for my money. Would you do it for me? They do. They gonna say yeah because they don't got it right now, and they want the money from you right right to this point. So do they gonna say nah? I mean they are gonna say yeah, yeah I would did it for you. Woo woo, no the fuck you want? Cause you ain't in the position to do it. Cause you asking me, but I do it just to let you know I ain't paid it by no money. You feel me? But I give I give to people that need it, not wants. Like I said, unless I want you to have it. You feel me? If there was a hundred percent pie chart, what's the percentage people understand the word no? And the other percentage, it becomes a fallout of some sort. Out of uh, all. Like, like now, the people I surround myself around, my people understand no. But the ones that don't understand, fallouts, like 50%, 40% type shit. Yeah. That amount.